In this lesson, we learn about the sum to infinity of a geometric series. The sum of any geometric series is given by the formula Sn equals a brackets 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. r is the ratio between each term. For r values between minus 1 and 1, as n tends towards infinity, then r to the n tends towards zero. This is because for ratios that are between minus one and one, the ratio must be zero point something. When these numbers multiply by themselves, they get smaller and smaller until we get to zero. This means we can find a formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric series. Sn, as n tends to infinity, becomes s of infinity. And we said that r to the n tends to zero. This simplifies with one minus r still on the bottom. And on the top, one minus zero equals one. And multiplying this by a, we just get a. Therefore, the sum to infinity is found with a over one minus r where a is the first term of the series and r is the ratio. Remember, we only have a sum to infinity when the r value is between minus one and one. If not, the sum to infinity does not exist. For example, find the sum to infinity of this series. We use our formula a is the first term of 20. To find r, take any term and divide by the term that came before it. So 10 divided by 20 equals 1 half. r equals 0 0.5. The sum to infinity equals 20 over 1 minus 0 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5. We work this out. 20 divided by 0 0.5 equals 40. The sum to infinity equals 40. This means that if we add 20, 10, 5 and all the coming terms forever, we will approach an answer of 40. Find the sum to infinity of 1 plus a third plus a ninth and so on. A equals 1. To find R, we divide 1 third by 1 to get 1 third. The sum to infinity becomes 1 over 1 minus 1 third. 1 minus 1 third equals 2 thirds. And 1 divided by 2 thirds equals 3 halves. The sum to infinity equals 3 over 2. Find the following sum to infinity. A equals 18. R is equal to minus 6 divided by 18 which equals minus a third. The sum to infinity equals 18 over 1 minus minus one third. We need to be careful when we have a negative r value. 1 minus minus one third means 1 plus one third, which equals 1 and one third. Working out 18 divided by 1 and 1 third, we get 13.5. Watch out for series in which the signs alternate between minus, plus, minus, and so on, as this is a sign that R will be negative. In this question, A equals 10. R is found by dividing 30 by 10. We get 3. However, 3 is too large. 
We only have a sum to infinity if r is between minus 1 and 1. There is no sum to infinity for this series. This is because the series diverges. This means that the terms get larger each time as we move from 10 to 30 to 90 and so on. If we kept adding the terms of this sequence, the result would be infinitely large because the terms keep getting bigger. We only have a sum to infinity if the terms get smaller. Here is a question written in sigma notation. To work this out, we want to generate the sequence first. We put n equals 1 into the expression to find the first term. 28 times a half to the power of 1 equals 14. Now the second term is found by using not n equals 1, but n equals 2. A half to the power of 2 equals 1 quarter, and 1 quarter of 28 equals 7. Now the third term is found using an n equal to 3. 1 half to the power of 3 times 28 equals 3.5. Now we simply find the values for a and r. a equals 14. 7 divided by 14 equals 1 half. The sum to infinity equals 14 over 1 minus 1 half. 1 minus 1 half equals 1 half. And 14 divided by a half equals 28. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.